Okay, guys. Um, so we're done with the whole upper body all the way down to the knee. So all we have left is this much. Yay. Okay. So we're going to start with the tibia. And first thing on your list should be tibial plateau. I'm looking. Uh, kind of. Joint line. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our patient seated with the knee bent. And uh, right here, your quadriceps come down, comes down and there's a patellar tendon that attaches right here. So that's what the doctor hits when you get your reflexes done and your leg jumps. So if you feel on either side of that patellar tendon and then press down, you're going to be feeling just these edges of the tibial plateau. Okay. If you come down directly below that, now I'm on the medial condyle and the lateral condyle. And then if I feel patellar tendon right what it attaches to, and again, most people have a nice big bump right here, this is your tibial tuberosity. Okay. If I start my hand, again, I'm going to do all these on a human patient in just a second. If I start my hand at the back of the knee and I slide forward, I'm going to run into the head of the fibula. Okay. If you start from the front and go back, it's real easy to still be on the lateral condyle and not all the way back on the head of the fibula. So come from the back forward and you'll find it super easy. Again, a lot of people as you can see. Okay. Down at the other end, we have the uh, lateral malleolus. That is the malleolus of the fibula. And then we have the medial malleolus, the ankle bone on the middle side. That is the malleolus of the tibia. Okay. Uh, calcaneus, we're now down onto the ankle and the carpal bones. Okay. The calcaneus, it's the whole heel. Anywhere you touch your patient on their heel, you are on the calcaneus. Okay. The talus, you've got two choices. You can have the patient point their foot and the dome of the talus is going to be really obvious, especially if your patient has a nice like ballerina foot. Um, you're going to be able to see this talus dome really nice. Um, if your patient doesn't have a lot of mobility, that talus kind of hides up under the tib fib. So what you can do is, I'm going to switch to this foot so you can see easier. Okay. Um, between that navicular tubercle and the uh, medial malleolus, right between your two fingers is the talus. So I'd find this one and this one and my finger right between and I'd be on the talus. Okay. Um, staying on this lateral side, if I take my hand and just stroke on the lateral side of the foot, I will feel this tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. If I stroke my hand up the inside, in the medial side of the foot, I will run into the navicular tubercle. Okay. Uh, to find the cuboid, if I go between the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal and the head, I'm sorry, the malleolus of the fibula, right between my two fingers, I should be on the cuboid. Okay. Let's do these with a real person. So my patient, if you'll come and sit. Okay. Just scoot back just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Um, so I'm going to find the joint space first. So come over here, please. So here's her nice little patellar tendon. If I hit it, we get a nice little reflex. That's always fun. Okay. So on either side of that, there's a space and I can press down and I'm pressing down onto uh, the tibial plateau. If I just put my fingers down like this, I am now on the medial condyle and the lateral condyle. And if I just stroke down the front of her shin right here, I feel a bump. That's her tibial tuberosity. Okay. If I come around the lateral side of her leg, just relax. You're good. Okay. Scoot up for me one inch. Perfect. If I come around the lateral side of her leg, this first little bump I feel is the head of the fibula. Okay. It's more posterior than you think it's going to be. Okay. It's not way up here. This is the lateral condyle. Okay. So again, start from the back and stroke forward and the first bump you feel. Okay. Fibular head. Okay. Malleolus of the fibula. 
malleolus of the tibia, the ankle bones. Okay. So let's start here. Okay. Here's the malleolus of the tibia. If I stroke forward on her foot, I feel a nice big knot right here, a bone. It's right where it's supposed to be. Okay. So right between my two fingers, a uh, uh, navicular tubercle, malleolus of the tibia, that's the talus. Okay. I can also ask her, can you point your foot for me? And see how it gets nice and round right here? Okay, right below the two malleoli, this is the dome of her talus poking forward. Okay, relax. Okay, calcaneus. Anywhere you wanna to touch back here. Boop, 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 boop. That's all calcaneus. Um, I'm gonna switch feet so you can see the lateral side. If I just stroke forward, boop, I run into a bump right here on the fifth metatarsal. So that's the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. Malleolus of the fibula, uh, fifth tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal, right between my two fingers, that should be the cuboid, okay? From here to here, these are all my metatarsals. Uh, scrunch your toes up for me, A little toe knuckles. These are the heads of the metatarsals. And then again, relax. We have proximal phalange, distal phalange, proximal phalange, middle phalange, distal phalange. Same way we did on the hands, it's the same on the toes. Okay, let me double check myself. We did talus calcaneus, we did navicular, we did cuboid, tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. Yep, we're good. That is it. Uh, so you have an assignment on the lower leg and foot, and then uh, we will talk about reviewing, and then we're going to move on to muscles of the upper extremity. So videos on all of that will follow. Thanks.